Okay, come on up here. Okay, here's what I'm going to show you how to do. A lot of times in science, you're going to want to make um, different kinds of graffiti or pieces of paper that you're going to be using in different science um, projects and experiments. What I've found is it's very difficult for kids with their fingers to pick paper up off the floor when it's real flat. So what i found works best is if you take newspaper and cut it in strips and then just loop it like that, and then cut the loop off, okay, now they've got something that sort of looks like a tent shape. It's easier for them to pick up off the ground. And then what that does then is it gives you how many pieces of paper? Two, so then you can double them fold it, so you're exponentially cutting more and more paper. It saves you a lot of time when you do that. But I've been doing this for a while, my fingers are sore doing that, so would you mind helping me? Okay. Do you see what I want to do? Okay. So all we're going to do is we're just going to take this over, and I'm just going to go ahead and cut the loop off. I'll give the first couple pieces. Just cut the loop off. Okay. So now she has her loop, so now I have my two... <laughs> oh. <pieces. laughs> Sorry. Loop, right? Yeah. Okay. So now we have two pieces. Did you not take season case 101? I'm going to make that prereq for this course. I so. yeah. Okay, now obviously something unique is happening here because you saw Aaron cut the ends off the paper. Okay. But in this particular case, with using your observation skills, it's not real easy to decipher or tell what is going on because you're only using what sense? Mm -hmm sense of sight. Too often kids think that observation means seeing with your eyes. But in reality, what are some other senses that you have that might help you come up with a prediction or a brainstorm as to what's happening here? Touch. A sense of touch. So, you can see she did actually cut this paper. Okay? But I want to pass it around so that you can touch it. What's another sense you could possibly use? Okay, hearing, and this is not going to help so much on this one. What's another one that could help you with this one? Okay, that would be the hearing. Okay, not going to help you so much with this one. Okay, so that's a smell, right? So I'm going to pass this around. I want you to smell what this newspaper smells like, and I want you to feel what it feels like. And as it's coming around, for those of you at the uh, beginning here that have already felt it, and, and Aaron, you had a chance to feel it too as you were holding it to cut. Any? Any um, sort of description of what it feels like? <laughs> How would you describe the texture of it, the feel? Okay, it feels thicker. Does it feel sticky on the outside, though? Yeah. Or does it feel sort of smooth and waxy? It's got a smooth, waxy feel to the outside. Now, that still isn't real helpful yet because you would think that if this paper is sticking together, then we must be using some kind of glue, and one of the key properties of glue is that it is sticky, and yet this paper is not sticky. Okay, any clues from your sense of smell? Does it have a smell to it? Yeah. How would you describe it? It's like a sweet, kind of a waxy smell. I'm the same way. I smell like Purell. I can't smell it. Okay. Does it smell like rubber spent? Yeah. Rubber spent. Yeah, the kind of glue that's in the can that has the brush and smells really good. But you can't use it in schools because of that smell now. Yeah. Teachers can still buy it. You're just not allowed to use it with the kids because of the, uh, the odor. But, uh, all right, so here's what you do. Okay, you coat this newspaper with rubber cement, but we know that rubber cement is sticky and that would defeat the purpose if we try to fold it over and stick to itself and you saw that it didn't stick to itself until it was cut. So you have to do something to cover up the stickiness on the outside. What type of ingredient do you think could be useful or would help do that? Flour? What else? Any other? Baby powder. Baby powder. Okay, some type of powder to cover that up. Okay, and that's exactly what you use on this strip newspaper is you use baby powder. So here's the way you make this stuff. It's best to get one big sheet of newspaper and do one side at a time. Coat the whole side with the rubber cement, let it get tacky, and then coat it with baby powder okay, and brush it off so it just feels so it's, the stickiness is covered. Then flip it over and do the same thing to the other side. Now once you do that, you can cut it in thin strips and it'll last for years, you know, so you've got enough to get you through several years if you put it in a Ziploc bag, it keeps it fresh. Um, but once you've done that, then you have these strips that once you fold it over and cut it with the scissors, the scissors are a lever, and that lever mashes the paper fibers together. So even though it's not sticky on the outside, that glue is underneath. What happens when those paper fibers are mashed together? 
the glue underneath there sticks them together so when you unfold it, it looks like it wasn't cut at all. Okay, so that's the way you make uh, the trip newspaper. But you need to use more than just your sense of sight when we're talking about an observation here. Remember, that's one of the key signs of process skills that we're working with. Okay. Question.